Hello friends, today we will discuss about the pre-formulation studies. Before this lecture, various questions related to pre-formulation may arise like what is pre-formulation, why do we study this, what is its need, what are the goals, its objectives and its advantages. In this lecture, we will answer all of these questions one by one. First one is what are pre-formulation studies? So, the studies of new drug entity which are carried out prior to its formulation development that is before transforming it into a formulation are known as pre-formulation studies. These studies are needed to do because for the development of new formulation of a drug requires a lot of concerted efforts which should be consistent and innovative. Millions of US dollars which are approximately 800 million US dollars and a lot of time which is estimated as 15 to 20 years approximately. So to get a fruitful result after this much investment it is must to do prior studies of new drug entity. In order to initiate safe, efficacious and robust formulation development important physical chemical properties of new drug entity needed to be determined early in the discovery process to select an optimized molecule for formulation development. The ultimate goal of pre-formulation studies is to know the physical chemical properties of new drug, to estimate its performance and development as well as to avoid any significant barriers in the development process. To achieve its goal, Various objectives are set for pre-formulation studies which act as its milestones. First one is to establish its physicochemical parameters so that their effect can be studied and possible modifications can be carried out to avoid all shortcomings. Second one is to establish its kinetics and its stability. And the last one is to determine its compatibility with other common excipients to avoid all possible contra interactions. After completion of pre-formulation studies, it gives us various advantages as it helps us in selecting appropriate dosage forms, a suitable processing method for its development and suitable storage conditions to avoid its instabilities. But prior to do pre-formulation studies, it is necessary to do the preliminary evaluation of the drug. For that purpose, a physical pharmacist meets up with the investigator's team to obtain information of the known properties of compound and proposed development schedule. After this, pre-formulation studies are carried out. In our next lecture, we will discuss about the properties of compound which I studied before pre-formulation development. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy and keep studying. Thank you.